The Federal Communications Commission today followed through on a promise it's been making all year. It scrapped the US net neutrality rules. These are the regulations that are, that are there to stop cable companies, telephone companies from blocking or limiting traffic that flows over the internet. Uh, and in the process, it hasn't only gone back and undone Obama-era regulations, um, it's actually gone way back to the beginning uh, in US telecom regulation and got rid of all the efforts over the last 15 years to put some sort of controls in place. Now, um, the rhetoric on this uh, was really turned up high today. On the one hand, uh, we have the FCC itself, the FCC chairman, Ajit Pai, who says, look, all I'm doing here is turning back the clock a couple of years. We're going back to the era we had when the internet really took off. Um, we're going to have light touch regulation. This is what internet companies want. Um, it worked really well uh, right up until 2015, so there's nothing bad to, uh, to fear. And the cable and telecom companies are lining up behind him and saying, you know, we're not going to go out and block the internet and stop you seeing things. Um, this, is, uh, this is all a storm in a teacup. On the other side of the fence um, are the internet companies themselves and civil liberties groups. And, you know, they're warning that um, whatever these companies say, they will now have the power to limit particular services if they want to. Um, all they have to do is, is uh, be transparent about what they're doing, um, but they can do whatever they want. And so the whole idea of an open, uh, fair, neutral internet has just disappeared. The immediate response to this has been a threat of a lawsuit uh, by Eric Schneiderman, who is the Attorney General in New York. He says he's going to lead a number of states in challenging the FCC on this. And we knew this was coming. We knew there was going to it was going to lead to yet more legal action. Um, the history of net neutrality in the US uh, is effectively a series of, uh, of legal battles. Um, in fact, the Obama FCC didn't even want to impose the neutrality rules it came up with. Um, it was essentially forced into that as the only option because every other avenue was, was shut out by the courts. Um, and I think for the very same reason, we'll see the Trump FCC pushed into a corner. Um, it now has to fight and defend its, uh, its actions. Um, I think, you know, essentially what the uh, large part of the internet industry want to see is Congress acting here rather than uh, something being battered around in the courts and then uh, these complete changes, swings from regulation to deregulation from one administration to the next. I think there's a real desire now to see a compromise, uh, to see bipartisan agreement on a realistic regime for the internet. Of course, bipartisanism is not uh, strong at the moment. And so I think you know, all the eyes will be on, on the law courts rather than Congress for the next year or two.